so it's a nice fall day out there actually a little rainy but still that's what fall is right so this morning I'm getting ready to make well actually I'm in the process of making sauerkraut and sausage um, I got everything ready here to show you so first of all I sauteed some onions with a little garlic and butter kind of browned them then you take your sausage, any kind of sausage you like. Um, this is Italian sausage, but um, you can use kielbasa, Polish sausage, whatever your favorite sausage is. I, my husband and I like things spicy, so I, I always go with some andouille or some Italian or throw some, what, even if I have brats, leftover brats or whatever. So then I take some potatoes and I kind of cut them into pieces quarter them I guess or third them whatever um then this is my dad's homemade sauerkraut um we just love it we make it every year he does a really good job I we freeze it in freezer bags and then I just took two freezer bags out and I rinsed it real well just to get some of the salt out then my two secret ingredients is beer dark beer this is actually a course, and um, they call the Yellow Jacket on Yellowstone, the, pro, the show. <laughs> I love it. And then this is a little bit of molasses, and you can also use a pinch of brown sugar if you don't have molasses. Um, either one, but you use just a little. I overdid it before, and that's not, not good. So anyways, you brown after you brown your sausage in, um, I gotta cut that one up. I just wanted to show you how I buy it at the store. And, uh, you can get it at any meat market too. But after you brown the sausage, then I'm gonna add just a, my dab of molasses and kind of toss it and stir it in here with all my all my onions and sausage and garlic and butter. And then I'm going to drop in the potatoes. Then I'm going to pour the sauerkraut over the whole top of it. And then I'm going to take my yellow jacket and I'm going to pour that over all the sauerkraut and everything. And then I'm going to bake it at like 350. Um, you can cover it for a little bit and then um, uncover it at the end. Um, it just depends on, I can't really tell you exactly how long to bake it for because it depends on how big of a pot you make. You just have to kind of watch it. And once your potatoes are tender, it's done. So I'd say about an hour at 350 is what I usually do. So I hope you liked this little video. And if you did, I wish you wish push like. And um, yeah, it's a great fall meal.